Galspan stocks plummet. Mars gets highest marks. Galspan cutbacks affect thousands. Galspan mining product. Logan fails. One of my operatives, a deep cover agent against the Bora command, as it were, is due to return. I have been assured that the spy carries extremely valuable information, though it cannot be transmitted via even secured channel due to its sensitive nature. We've tracked our agent to the mercenary sector of the Ripstar region. However, Bora activity in the region has been too great to permit safe return. Proceed to the mercenary sector and retrieve my operative. I've already loaded codes into your craft that will identify you as another of my agents. Then provide escort back to the station, or at very least, return with the data pack. Remember, Mr. Logan, the security codes currently loaded in your vessel will confirm the identity of the operative. Make sure to avoid the attention of any counter-agents that might be attempting to intercept the data. Gotcha, Trishy. I'm going out to get me a data pack. Research to Logan. Just wanted to thank you for that work you did with Cassiter in the Twilight. We're still figuring out how this drone operates, but once we do, we'll make an army of them to maintain the Hephaestus. Director Atkins is pleased at how much money we'll save with these guys. Hey, you just be careful with those things. They're cute when they're small. were rough back home. I have got to get out of this place. All right, this looks good enough a place as any. Transmitting my ID. Let's just see if Mr. Operative is listening. I gotta be clever about this. Three ships. Well, at least a... Wait a minute. How many ships know these codes? All right, spies. Drop your cargo pods or your hold. Uh, hi, guys. Any chance a few hundred of you would be here accidentally? What's this got to do with you, tough guy? Listen, Cinder Station's reported the presence of Bora agents using station resources, threatening the neutrality of this whole sector. We've tracked operatives down in these three ships. Now that you've laid them out so nice for us, we'll be closing the contract with a little laser fire. Wait a darn minute there, Buster. I have a contract too, and it says that one of these guys is a Galspan employee. You know what that means? It means he's not getting harmed. Capiche? Galspan, huh? You guys are pretty rich. Okay, Spanner, take your pick. Well, that...
that's just the thing. I, uh, I need to talk with them to make sure I, uh, verify their identity. Oh, boy, why couldn't there just be one? Dude, these ships are vacuum for sure, Spanner. Better get your comm channels up with them quick. Too much money at stake to wait for long. Hey, hey Logan, right? Oh, it's damn good to see you. These others just follow Listen me out here. please, there has been a grave error. A transmission from Olympus base was intercepted. These imposters know the code. Logan, the imposter speaking before me is correct. But only in that there are imposters. I am the real operator. Can't you see what's going on all right, in front of you? All right, that's enough of that. Just, just hold on. Put a lid on it, will ya? Nobody... Nobody say anything unless I ask you to, understand? Let me just check something. Oh, lovely. My computer shows all three of you have the confirming codes. Uh, all right, you on the left. I'm reading your ship name to be Obsidian, right? Who do you report to? I report to Trish, just like you, Logan. Oh, Trish, huh? Oh, so you're friendly with her, are you? Very, sure. She's always been friendly with me. All right, now the middle one. I'm showing fighter, what is it, Greyhound. Who do you report to? I report straight to Director Atkins. Listen to me, Jake. You have to kill these other two quickly. They have orders to assassinate you. Uh-huh, sure. Well, that's not so easy. And now you on the right, I'm reading your ship registry as Quasar. Who do you report to? I report to Mrs. Bales, and this data must get to her at once. I can't say any more. Ah, time for some decision-making. No more talking, you guys give me a headache. Shut up. I'm only picking up one of these packs, and as soon as I figure out which one of you is really Galspan, the rest of you... Well, good luck with your friends here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'll take Mo. Got it? Cargo secured, thanks a bunch. You're with me, pal. The rest of you, uh... Guess the Bora should just sit on their little asteroid. Better luck next time. Trishy and I are gonna have your hide, Logan! I'm a dead man! You just killed a Galspan employee! So much for your reputation of excellence, you slagger! You can't honestly leave me here to die! You can't! Thanks, Logan. Let's go. This sector's not safe anymore. Lauren, start. Kill him. You head off and meet our other client. You're no longer needed if we're only going to take care of two ships instead of three. The rest of you, let's hold this trash. Hey, what was that? Some sort of scrambled message. Ah, I could almost make it out. Hey guys, what you doing way out here, away from your station? Your mom know you're here? I gotta get back to base before the whole Bora fleet comes at me.
Oops. This is not good.
excellent work uncovering the false operatives. The data pack you retrieved contains information about Susan Bradley and is vital to Director Atkins' long-term plans in dealing with the borer. There's something you should know, Logan. Though your efforts have been exemplary so far, we recently received a memo from the upper executives that may pertain to your future. Current estimates indicate that Bora terrorists are having a significant impact on the shareholders' views of the region. To date, they have cost the company over 13 billion credits in damages. If we are not more capable of counteracting Bora terrorism, Galspan will be forced to abandon this area. Although you are integral to our fringe operations, you are not part of our current relocation plan. I'm afraid your contract would be terminated, leaving you stranded in the fringe. It is a regrettable but growing possibility. Bales out.